Alright, hello people. We are back in War Select Woods, and I wiped out the place twice, uh, no Grachnist. Wiped it out again, and hilariously enough, there are two Grachnist. One, two. And it looks like a couple of Pit Fighter Dobbs. Who... <laughs> it's weird, I, I, I wiped the place out, uh, I think it was like two or three times in a row. Nothing spawned. Not a single Pit Fighter, not a single Grachnist. And now I've got four. In one respawn. Gotta love it. Okay, so... I'm assuming... At least one of them is over here in his favorite tent. Would be my guess. I'd rather not get the entire zone on me, though. That actually hasn't respawned yet. Oh. Okay, just jump me through the wall. That'll work. That'll do. I'll take it. Let's see. Give me some aggro. Stealing that aggro. Good stuff. I'm actually tanking. <laughs> I might actually tank an entire fight. That'd be crazy. Crazy talk. Have the stupid item I need, whatever the hell it is. I think it's a skull. Please have the skull. Por favor. He has two topaz. Okay. <laughs> that is not the skull. Hopefully the other one has the skull, wherever the hell he is. That's the only spawn I've seen him at so far, so I don't know where the hell the other one would be. We will find him, though. He will die. We will live. They will die. <laughs> Gotta love Nasus. He's got one of the coolest voice actors in the uh, league. But anyways, let's see. So he's not there. That's it. Where are you, friend? Should probably go ahead and do my buffs. I don't think about it. Let's see. Right click. And then Vampiric Embrace. We'll give Sarah and Bubbles some mana. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, he's got an axe. Pit Fighter Dobbs over here. We're gonna focus on him first. Of the two. Because he's probably the problem. Probably. Let's see. Scream of Hate. Scream of Pain. He's not fighting me, he's fighting someone else. There we go, got him back. <laughs> Even though I'm starting the aggro, I'm like, I'm first one on the aggro list with uh, Crushing Darkness or whatever, Engulfing Darkness, which should be really good aggro. Oh, we're still fighting. Or we were still fighting. Uh, should it be really good aggro? I, I always lose it immediately. Within a couple of seconds. What kind of axe is this? Oh, it's Defiant. Screw that. As I said before, I'm going to be ignoring all Defiant gear. Get off a of Pit Fighter Dob. I want to see what he has. He has... Nothing. Okay. Good to know. So, Gragnus is not there. He might be in here, I suppose. Let's go ahead and pull you guys out here. Why not? Apparently there's only one. Okay. Goblin Aggressor, Scaled Wolf Elder. Is he aggro? He is not aggro. You get to live, little wolfie. Let's see. Steal some health for the hell of it. Get some channeling skill. Good stuff. Channeling's uh, when you're casting a spell, but they're whacking you in the face at the same time. That is what channeling is. Hello. Actually, it looks like they've got the aggressor. I'll get the blood tracer. Why not? I think these are alteration, if I remember right. Yeah, they are. I should probably cast them some more and get some skill. I got 22 riposte skill. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, and we're level 25. Very good. So, we have feigned death. Obviously, which is great. That is going on the bar. And we have Endure Disease. Even better. <laughs> when I thought nothing could top uh, Feign Death, then I get Endure Disease. And it's just, you know, happy times. Do we not have a spell at level 25? That was 24. I guess not. But uh, that's definitely going on the bar. Well, that'll Right there will be fine. That'll be good. Feign Death. Good stuff. So now we can split mobs and... Uh, 
not die when we probably should. Stuff like that. Uh, you are not Grachnus the Destroyer, but I'll kill you anyways. I might have to respawn the place again if the other Grachnus does not have what I need. Which, uh, so far three out of three haven't had uh, the quest item, so I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see, Battlemaster, Battlemaster, where the hell is this Grachnus? It said two of them were up, I'm not blind, right? I swear it said there were two of them. That little, little Battlemaster guy, he's a little munchkin. Dead now. He's gotta be in this building right here, it's the only one left. Come here, Witch Doctor. Oh, there he is, right there. Hello, Grachnist. So, the pit fighter's gotta be in here as well. He is. I have to fight them both at the same time. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I could try some feign death shenanigans. I suppose. Although, I don't know if I can keep my team off them. Let's just give everyone mana and just duke it out. Screw it. I'll mess with Fane Death later. Okay, so everyone has... Well, she had mana. She's going back to casting one of her 50 bazillion buffs. I think we'll start with Grachnist. We lost this, so let's get this back up. Yeah, we'll start with Grachnist and then we'll deal with Pit Fighter Dob. Stop wasting your mana. I need you to have mana for this fight, please. My god. Let's see, Grimora. Okay, so we're gonna go with Engulfing Darkness first. Actually, let's let them fight that one and we'll fight this one. Now that I think about it. Instead of trying to tank them both. Which is probably not gonna work. We'll let them take their chances with that one and we'll fight Pit Fighter Dob. Let's see, Engulfing Darkness. There we go. Very good. So far, so good. Harm Touch is not back up yet, though, so if we need it, we're kinda screwed. Oh, they've already beaten Grachnist. <laughs> Run for your life, Grachnist. He's got a wolf and a air elemental on his heels. And there goes Pit Fighter Dob. This guy's never dropped anything other than that tongue. If he has something else, he doesn't drop. Yeah, see, this is all he has. I looked it up. It's a piece of crap, too. So, the, uh, the quest. Let's see. Battlemaster. Probably don't even need to loot him. Ooh. And Onyx. I don't know why I just like gems. I always pick up gems. I don't know. Force of habit, I guess. Do you have the item? Holy crap, I think he has it. Let's see, where is my... Blah, blah, blah. Grackness of the story. Yeah, it's his skull. Very good. So we got what we needed off Grackness after the fourth kill. Or was it fifth? Fourth or fifth. He also has a cloak. AC3. Some resistances. What is my cloak? <laughs> Arguably, the one AC is better than the four resistance. <laughs> Hilariously enough. So I'm gonna keep the not the <laughs> the regular patch hide poncho. We're gonna keep the poncho. We'll give this to probably Flower. Have a cloak, Flower. She doesn't want it. Oh, she can't use it. Okay, who can use it? Alright, we found another one of those masks, too. I forgot. Uh, Rogue can use it. We'll give it to Frog. Frog needs a dual wield now that I think about it. Yeah, he's still only got one... Uh... Can she use it? Oh, she can. Okay, fine. We'll give it to her. Uh, he's only got one dagger. I completely forgot. Oops. We can give him the sword for the offhand. Can this go in the offhand? Yeah, I can. Yeah, we'll give him this for the offhand. If I can click on him. No, that's flower. Hmm. I need you idiots to get off of each other. Let's see. There we go, frog. Offhand. There we go. Okay, so he actually has an offhand now. Completely forgot. Okay, so we have three quest items so far. We have the chin, the skeletal hand, which is definitely the hardest so far. And then the skull. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, good. What about these things? That's the collector one. This one has three charisma. It goes in the secondary slot. Well, a lot of them don't have secondaries, so I guess I could give it to someone. Actually, charisma is good for bubbles now that I think about it. But she has a two-hander, though. At least I think that's two-handed. 
Oh, it cannot be dropped. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, give. Yeah, it's a two-hander. Well, damn. Hmm. I could always save it for her for later, I suppose. Because I don't have a primary for her at the moment. Let's see. Give. Give me the thing back. Oh, she kept it. What the hell? Oh, it is one-handed. One what the hell? <laughs> I just assumed it was two-handed. Right, she had... It, the, the staff is primary only, I'll bet you. So, yeah, okay, right. She had to give it back, and then I had to give it back. Or give it to me, and I had to give it back to her. Okay. That's the tongue, right? I think that's the same one. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Okay, so we got the quest item from here. Good. Jolly good. I don't know what this is, but it's in the way. Put it... Yeah, put it over there. Okay, before I get massive aggro on my way over to the giant fort, as promised... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in and viz. Let's make sure there's no more Grachnists up, because they have good loot. Other than what we've found. No. We might have to come back and kill him some more. He has a, he has a full set of that uh, leather stuff, which is pretty good. He has the earring, he has... Uh... The drop we needed, he had, I think he has like a cape or something. Hold up. Let me look him up again. Yeah, he has a crappy whip. He has some really good gloves, which we didn't see. He has that set of scaled wolf stuff. Actually, it's not a whole set. It's legs, gloves, the cloak, which is what we got, helmet, and a belt. And then he has the earring. And he has a range slot item. Right, I forgot about that. I wouldn't mind getting that, but sadly we didn't. We did not get the uh, the range slot item, which I don't even have in... Yeah, I don't even have anything for it at the moment. Before I walk off a cliff, let's put the map back on. Cliffs are bad. Okay. Cliffs are bad, okay. <laughs> let's see. We need to go this way. No, we need to go this way. Yes. Yes. What else is here? We'll probably go to over there next, just because it's connected. And we need to go there for the quest. But, uh... Bandit Lord. Interesting. Let's just check track on the way over there. See if there's anything special. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Exar Exile. I'm about to walk off a cliff. Not good. So far, nothing. Lurking Hopeful. What the hell is that? Lurking Hope... Yeah. I've never heard of that. It's a troll. Oh, it's for the Berserker epic. Okay. That's one of the few epics I've never helped with. And uh, I've never played a Berserker past, I think, like level 20 or something, so... Interesting. That's a really cool name. Lurking Hopeful. Huh. I like it. Am I still going the right way? I am going the right way. I'm pretty much there. Ooh. Gelraz Scale Runner. Gelraz Scale Runner. Gelraz, okay. Go back to, yeah. Scale Runner. Runner? Run, runner. Yes. Oh, there's two of them. There's one in the Field of Bone. Rasaku. I guess they're related. And then there's one in Warsalik Woods where we are. Also in Ixar. Sentries and their trees. Oh, it's just experience? Experience at 65 with 90% regular XP. Wow, so if you complete the quest, you basically get a level for free. And 116 plat. That's not bad, I guess. I don't really care, but it's not bad. Oh, let's see. Giant Forge. My dog is snoring as always. Let's see. Ooh, Crusader Mixel. Goblin Warrior. Crusader Mixel, Clock Gragon. There's a lot of names here. Clock. I think that's a guard or something like that. Grag. Dragon. Yeah. Oh, he's a vendor. He sells fishing poles and bait and rations and backpacks and lanterns and a bunch of other random crap. Apparently there's like a little town here somewhere. I don't know where the hell it would be, but yeah. Maybe it's there? I don't know. 
Yeah, because these are all guards. Oh, what is this? Dracagon Bruan. Or Bruan or something. Let's see. Yeah, Dracagon. Oh, okay. There's multiple of those too. Interesting. Uh, Mountains of Wrath, Warsalic Woods, and North Row. Apparently they're a whole family as well, I guess. But uh, as far as I can tell, he doesn't drop anything, and he's not for any quests. So uh, We'll kill a couple of giants, and then we'll go to the over there. Or at least that is the plan. Okay, so where's the mount? Get off the mount. Don't need it. Do not need it, and it slows me down. Oh, the giant fort. <laughs> I remember camping the hell out of this place. Come here, friend. I wish to murder you. I wish to introduce you to my mace. Say hi. Oh, skill runners in here. Interesting. Let's go ahead and put that back up. We'll put this back up. And apparently the giants are a joke, because he went down with minimal effort. He dropped Flawless Aquamarines. Okay. Does not appear to be any named giants up, although there are named giants. They're just not spawned at the moment, apparently. Give me that aggro. There we go. Goodbye. Kasplat. <laughs> I always love the way they fell. They don't just fall, they like wobble back and forth, and then they finally fall over. More aquamarines. What is with them dropping two at a time? Gragnus drops two sapphires at a time as well. It's weird. That is strange. Let's see. There's probably a bunch of them in here, yeah. Yep. Yeah. At the very least, there's gonna be more than one. Or not. I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I thought this place would be packed with them. Goodbye, friend. You see what I mean? They're like... Mm -hmm, and then they finally fall over. I have no idea why. Really strange death animation. Let's see. Forest green, forest giant, forest green. What is this? Forest giant. Hmm. Yeah, we may come back here too and kill the named eventually but uh, anyways we're done with here for now let's see do 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 we are gonna go to the over there and figure out what the hell we need there I honestly don't remember let's see give me the map it is oh we need to go to Lake of Ill Omen as well let's see which one we should go to first let's see Lake of Ill Omen we need Charbone Skeleton which is Wow, really low level. And we need blood gills, which are not low level. Wow, we need a lot of stuff in the over there. Huh. The over there is... Uh, it's definitely going to be tougher. Let's go to Lake of Illumin first, because it'll be easier. Let's see. Which way? No, that's not the right way. Well, first of all, I should probably get out of the damn fort. I'm, all, I'm looking at the map trying to direction myself, but I'm stuck in this fort at the moment, so. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lake of Illumin was one of my favorite uh, Kunark zones. Spent a lot of time there. In this case, we're fighting mobs that I didn't actually fight when I was there back in the day. Uh, I never went out of my way to find the blood gills. Because they're out in the water. Fighting things in the water is just a pain in the ass. Skulking, okay. Orangutan, or whatever the hell those things are called, I've already forgotten. Looks like I have to go, yeah, I have to go through the cave. Okay. Goblin Pond. Ixar Bandits, Open Valley. Hmm. Right, yeah. Right. I remember always missing the turns here because you can barely see them. Like, see, that was a turn right there, but you can barely see it. Because of the way they did this tunnel, the walls and the roots and all that. Luckily, we have a map. Let's see. For whatever that's worth. 
Looks like I'm going this way. Yes. And it's to the right here. Yeah, you can very easily miss the turns. It's the same for the Furiona Bay Tunnels, or Furiona Bay, or however they say it. They are uh, very tight, and these stupid roots block your vision, so you can't see the turns. 73 dodge skill, 52 parry skill. I wonder what my skill cap is at the moment. The vast majority of my skills are probably nowhere near capped. Probably not even close. Let's see. Let me go ahead and look up where these guys are. Uh, Charbone Skeleton is the first one. And apparently any of the blood gills can drop the scale. Charbone Skeleton drops the hand. Let's see. Charbone Skeleton. Uh, yeah, the one... Well, there's one in Lake of Aloman, in the Dreadlands, and in Swamp of No Hope. Interesting. Hopefully I've got the right one. Does he drop... Yeah, it says he drops the hand. Oh my god, his loot table is massive. Jesus. His loot table is gigantic. It doesn't say at the top where he spawns. I might just have to wander around. Uh, spawn the zone. Yeah, see, that's what I want to know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No one seems to know where they spawn. Huh. This guy says they hit hard. Blah, blah, blah. They're... What? He says they resist everything. Interesting. Yeah, they don't say where they spawn. So, I'm gonna assume I just have to wander around and look for them. Which is not ideal, but oh well. Where am I on the map? Oh, I'm in some tunnels. Okay. Let's see. Hello, friends. I don't really want to fight random crap till I get to where I'm going, so I think I'm going to invis again. Die, friend. Although I'm running out of potions, I'm going to have to go get some more. Running out could be a problem. I could always just run and faint as well, I suppose. Oh, uh, let's see. What's on track? Lord Gorlick. Spirit Sentinel. Spirit Sentinel. My curiosity must be satiated. Sentinel. Apparently there's two of them. We want the one in Lake... Holy crap, he's level 65. It's a shaman pet. It's for a shaman. The shaman epic. Okay. What was the other one? Lord Gorlick. Also red. Lord Gorlick. Or Gorelic, or something. Uh, this one, yes. There's a fabled Lord Gor. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a goblin. This level forty shaman is found within the goblin caves. Okay, so it's where we are right now, somewhere. He drops the mithril staff. Twenty eight forty five warrior only. Right, yeah, I remember that. He's not for any quests, and all he drops is a warrior item. So. Useless. We might kill him anyways, though, just for the hell of it. But, uh, as far as, you know, our characters go, he's completely useless. Let's see, I am still invisible, right? Okay, good. Let's see. To the left, straight ahead. Zoom in on the map a bit. Let's see. Do, do, do. Still straight ahead. <laughs> that clipping, look at that. Inf uh, what is it called? X-ray vision. It's gonna say infravision, but that's not correct, now is it? That's one thing this game never had. It has buffs that let you do pretty much anything. But there was no X-ray vision. <laughs> that would've been pretty cool. Just see through zone walls. See straight ahead. It appears he is quite the ways over here. Oh, there he was right there. I walked right past him. Hello, friend. He is red. Okay. Uh, let's walk over here. Get off the mount. 
I'm not even supposed to be on the mountain here, but like I said in uh, one of the earlier videos, apparently mounts do- The game does not demount me for some reason. I don't know, something to do with the emu. Does not take off the mount. It won't let you mount indoors, right? Like if I was already indoors and I tried to mount, it wouldn't let me, but it doesn't remove it like it's supposed to. Which is weird. Uh, yeah, go ahead and use that. Okay, so let's murder this guy. Oh, shit, where did he go? Oh, he moves. Well, that's not good. Friendos? Yeah. Their vision is blocked. <laughs> so they're completely useless. I think he's fighting a pet at the moment. Yeah, he's fighting my pet. We'll wait for him to kill Zanarb or whatever, and, or Karab, and then get the hell over here. Really? He's still... He's still not moving. Yeah, he's fixated on the pets. Uh, the team's pets are here too. They're just through the wall. And he's fighting them. Can I get some aggro, please? There we go. Okay, so he should move now and they should attack when he gets over here. Nope, he's fighting the pets again. Yeah, he's being irritating. And my team is being terrible, but oh well. Screw it, we'll, we'll 1v1 him. See how that goes. Holy crap, he hits hard. Okay, never mind. Bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. I concede that that was a bad idea. I don't want to get in range, but I want to steal health if I can. Jesus. He is red after all, so I guess I'm underestimating him. He's still fighting pets. I don't know whose pet he's fighting, but he's fighting someone's pet. Looks like flowers. He's fighting the Beast Lord pet. <laughs> the Beast Lord pet is tanking him down. Uh-oh. Might go down, though. Finally. Yep, looks like he's about to go down. See if he'll move after that. Nope, he's fighting Carl's pet now. He's going to chew his way through all the pets, and then finally move. <laughs> he killed my pet, he killed Flower's pet, there you go. He killed uh, Carl's pet. All the pets, and my team finally realizes that there's an enemy. That there's a threat, and they might actually want to do something. Have some engulfing darkness, just in case you run. Oh, he resisted it. You piece of crap. Let's try it again, I don't want him running away. There we go. Very good. Ticking for 11 damage. Good stuff. He's still running. It must have wore off already. What the hell? Or it didn't slow him enough. One of the two. He did try to run. He just didn't get very far. Let's see. What do you have? Do you, have, you don't have the mithril staff. We would have seen it. So yeah. He doesn't have anything. Uh, Let's pretend we rest it up. And then move on to bigger and better things. Wow. He had an area attack. He was kicking the crap out of everyone. Interesting. Yeah, he had an he had an area attack. Everyone was at half health. Damn. So that guy was actually pretty tough. Lord Gorlick. Let's see, what else is on track while they do their thing? Spirit caller. Absolutely nothing. Okay, pull the map back up. How do I get out of here? I've either got to go backwards. Back over here. Yeah, this is probably shorter. I don't want to use any more potions uh, at the moment because I'm running out, so we'll just fight our way out. I don't want to have none of my invisibility potions left. My teammates can probably cast it if I knew what the command was, but I don't know what the command is, so... If I remember, I'll look it up. But for now, the potions are basically all I've got. This place is empty as hell. Not that I'm complaining. Soothsayer, okay. Yeah, they're through the wall again. Looks like I get to handle this one. Give me a chance to get some stat ups. My taunt is at 120. Wow, what is my skill cap? 126? 150! My skill cap is 150. Wow. Huh. Most of my stuff's like around level 50 to 60 or something like that, and my skill cap's 
150. No wonder nothing is working. That might be it. Okay, goblins, get out of my way. I'm trying to get out of here. I got skeletons to kill, assuming they even exist. Let's see. Okay, exit is on the right. Good, good. And... Wow, long exit. <laughs> Still pretty cool looking. The uh, claw... What are those things called? The, the like, uh, torch holders? It's got a word. There's a word for it. I can't remember what it is, though. Sconce, is that it? Let's see. Okay, get out of my way. I need my faithful steed. There we go. Bust Sally out, and... Let's see. Track. Spirit signal. We already knew about that. Sarnak Flunky. Where are we on the map? Because I need to know where I've checked. Let's see. Okay. So there's a POK book over there. For uh, Lake of Illumin, apparently. I don't remember there being one for Lake of the Illumin, but okay. The map says there is. So. Sarnak Crypt Raider. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I've already forgotten what the hell we're looking for. Because my memory is terrible. Uh, Charbone Skeleton and Blood Gill. Charbone, Charbone, Charbone. Charbone Skeleton! Ah! Was that him? Oh no, it's ahead of us. Okay. <laughs> we just passed the skeleton. I was like, hmm, maybe that's him. It is not. Sadly. Let's see, Charbone. Is that straight ahead? Heading to the left. Make up your mind, game. Let's see, he's way the hell up here on this cliff, apparently. There he is. Yeah, he's walking over the cliff. Get him! Rawr! Attack! Ah! Is he running away? Oh no, he's trying to attack someone else. He's fixing to say, skeletons do not run away. Goodbye, friend. See if he has the, uh, the hand. This is what I need. Get off his corpse, please. Thank you. Let's see. Where is... Nope, it doesn't have it. Words of Allure and Faded Something Tomb Page. That does not help me. Thank you, though. Let's see. Lingering Axe Fall. What the hell? <laughs> These names are amazing. Lingering Axe Fall. What do you have, friend? He's a level 30 quest NPC. What is your quest? He's a dwarf. He's a ghost dwarf. Oh, he does drop something. Or wait, no. It says he gives that item. What? Bone Axes of the Spirit. Oh, he's for the Zerker epic. Okay. Uh, another Berserker epic mob. That does not help me at all. Not in the slightest. Let's see. I need to go this way. There he is right there. Hopefully he's not aggro. No, he'd be on the window if he was. Whoa, Cyric Ice Blood. That's why Rick Ice Blood. Level 60 quest NPC. <laughs> he's for the Enchanter epic. Okay. Uh, maybe later. Fulik Devin. A Sarnak Revealer. Huh. There's so many mobs here. Let's see. Let's check out the Revealer. A Sarnak Re... Yes, that. Revealer. Blue to level 30 drops Farsight Crystal for the Druid Charm Plant Quest. Oh, he's for a Druid spell. Am I getting attacked? I am getting attacked. They are killing them though, so it's all good. Deepwater Barracuda. What about Fulik Devin? Fulik Devin. I wonder if he's related to Ambassador Devin. Death to the Drakes. He's for a quest. Which either has no reward or they forgot to, to list it. Uh, either way, I'm gonna skip him. 
Is there a guy's blood? I don't see any more charbone skeletons, which is too bad. Warbone to skeleton. Where the hell am I? I'm going the wrong way. I should be going this way. Yeah. I'm trying to walk around the edge of the zone and then I'll check the middle. Oh, there's a blood gill goblin. I need those. Apparently they're red. I did not. Charbone skeleton. I need that too. Where are you, friend? Heading to the right. That might be him right there. No, that's warboned. Huh. Is he inside the fort? That would be interesting. I don't know why he'd be inside the fort. Yeah, the Sarnak fort. The Sarnak fort. You're gonna die, friend. Give me that offense skill. I will take that. I think most of my team isn't here. That's, yeah. Oh, hello, Icebone. You're gonna die, too, by the way. Goodbye. <laughs> You're toast. Sarah's out of mana, but oh well. Okay, so he is straight ahead, it says. Well, okay, I don't get it. He's through the wall, is that what you're telling me? That's a wall right there. I can't go that way. <laughs> He's got to be back outside somewhere, I guess. Goodbye. Yeah, he's got to be back out here somewhere. Oh, up the cliffside is a road. Okay. He's up here on the road somewhere. Sarnak Adherent. Okay. What the hell? They're just... <laughs> Look at this. They're just watching. Moral support. Luckily, I have pets. Because the rest of my team is just useless. Let's see. Okay, so he's over here somewhere. Heading to the right. Okay. We're headed back into the... Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, we passed him. Eh, that would answer the question. Why I could not find him. I'm just going to throw some random spells at him and, uh, there we go, get some skill ups. I'm going to start throwing random spells for the hell of it even when I don't need them. Just for the skill ups. Let's see, okay. Get out of the way, please. What is that? Skeletal hand! That's what we needed, right? Yeah, very good. Ah! Second kill. I don't know if that one's rare or not, but uh, I'm not going to complain either way. Okay, so now we need blood gills. Blood gill. Goblin. Goblin, yes. Blood gill goblin. And they have to drop their scales. Uh, we're already... Oh, crap. Okay, so I'm in a little bit over time there. Uh, we'll be back here next episode, and we'll kill the blood gills, and then we'll go to the next... Whatever the hell we need next. Uh, we're about, what is that, halfway through now? Actually, no, we're not halfway through. I'm a liar. We're not even close to halfway through. I am a liar. I'm terribly sorry. We have four pieces out of, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, kind of halfway through. Not really, but kind of, somewhat. But, uh, yeah, we'll kill the Blood Gills next. They're all red, so that might be interesting. Instead of just it being a named, surrounded by a bunch of greens and blues, they're all red. All the Blood Gills are red. So, that should that should prove to be uh, a, a decent fight, possibly. But, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.